I've always been of the opinion that one of the most important things that a wrestler could have going for them is great entrance music, a great theme song. Because when that music drops, when you hear that song, when you hear that theme, you associate it with that person and it gives you an idea of what's potentially about to come. It's a way for these talents to stand out. It's critically important. You can talk about in-ring ability, you can talk about charisma, you can talk about mic skills, you can talk about look and all this other stuff. But one of those other small things that really make a massive difference is that entrance music, is that theme song. You know, when you think about Austin over the years, you think about Austin, you think about the glass shattering. If you hear glass shattering to this day, you probably think about Stone Cold Steve Austin. You hear the gong, you know that's time for Taker. You hear the gong, still to this day, somebody like hits a gong at a restaurant or something, you think the Undertaker's about to come and do his 20 minute walk down the damn ramp. But to me, entrances are a big, huge deal. And it's striking to me, as I've watched the WWE for going on three plus decades now, uh, you see the times have changed, the company's priorities have changed, their philosophy, their approach has changed. I've changed as a person, obviously, as a wrestling fan, so on and so forth. And really, in recent years, I haven't been that impressed with what I've heard, but more on that in a moment. But it was a real surprise to me, maybe in part because I thought it already happened a couple of years ago. Maybe I was just out of the loop and I didn't care that much. But I was really surprised to find out the news this weekend that the WWE had released Jim Johnston, their head of music, their uh, head composer, for all these many years. He's now officially gone from the company. That's stunning to me. And maybe for some of the younger cats, it doesn't matter as much. And that's perfectly fine. But for like older cats like me, it's, it's, it's a big deal. Because when you think about WWE over the years, you think about the Hogans and the Warriors, the Savages, Andres, and so on and so forth. You think about guys later on like HBK and Bret Hart and Diesel and Reza Ramon. You think about the Legion of Doom. You think about all these other great tag teams over the years. You think about then the Attitude Era. You think about Austin, The Rock, Taker, Foley, Kurt Angle, and so on and so forth. And da da da. And da da da. And Jim Johnston was a big reason for why these guys got over to a certain degree. And you think I'm overselling it. But again... You hear glass shattering to this day, like if somebody plays on a loop, you know, psh, glass shattering, you think Austin. You know, it went hand in hand, it was a very symbiotic relationship, and when that theme was right, when that entrance music was right, it just took those guys to a whole different level, and you knew business was really about to pick up. So, you know, as much as those other guys were important to the WWE over the years, Jim Johnston was incredibly important. Because sometimes that theme, being the first impression that you get of a wrestler, has to be on point, and it has to be right, and it has to set the tone for that character. And nobody in the history of wrestling to me has ever done that better, clearly, than Jim Johnston. I mean, you think about the Ultimate Warriors theme, like... I know I'm kind of bastardizing and off-toning it, but it fit the character, this frenetic pace, this non-stop motion and energy, getting gassed after two minutes. It fit him perfectly. The glass shattering. It fit Austin perfectly. The ominous sounds of the Undertaker when the gong hits and you go... It, you, it just... It fit. And... Over the years, he's been a major part of so many of these guys having those entrances that really set the stage and really set the tone for them and begin the presentation of the character. Again, I cannot overstate enough just how important that is. So I'm really surprised that this company over the years has shifted away from Jim Johnston and went away went to somebody like, who is it, CFO that does the majority of the themes? It's no wonder why I don't like most of the themes in WWE today, so many of them are generic, so many of them really don't tell a story to me in terms of the character, in terms of really setting the table. You know, some of them do, but it feels like actually some of the women's themes are better than the guys' themes, and I believe that to be 100% true. But just in general, a lot of these themes suck. 
And it's not just a recency syndrome or a history syndrome of saying everything in the past was better, everything now sucks. It's just they don't do it for me. It's just not the same. And it sucks to me that a guy like Jim Johnston still can't play a role for WWE. Now, maybe his time had passed. And maybe what he does is not really the path forward for the company going forward. But I refuse to believe a guy that you've enjoyed so much success with over the years that has created so many masterpieces in terms of entrance and theme music can't be a viable contributor now to you to this day. I understand you're in cost-cutting mode, and if you're going with CFO or whoever the hell to do the majority of your themes, maybe you didn't feel like Jim Johnston was needed or necessary, but damn it all, we can't find a way to keep him as a consultant. We can't find a way to put him on special projects and have him write theme songs for certain individuals? Man, that just sucks. It seems like there were better costs to cut than Jim Johnston. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I was really, really surprised. And it's like, to me, it's another example of how the times have changed, and now it's kind of the end of an era. So at some point in time, tonight or tomorrow, I'm probably going to go back and listen to some old WWF themes when that shit used to kick ass. As they most certainly do not now. If anything, hopefully this means the company will finally do the right thing and put him in the WWE Hall of Fame because when you look at some of the people that are in there, you could argue that Jim Johnston had a much bigger impact on the performers in the Hall of Fame in some cases and on the company as a whole than a lot of those people that already have their Hall of Fame rings.